Hey SCC family, it's Joanne Sharp here, Director of Women's Ministry. I am actually in my home, um, sort of hiding from my children on this absolutely beautiful day, because I've been asked to come on and share with you a devotion relating to hope over fear, as the pastors have done such a beautiful job of this week. So I'm grateful to be here. I'm happy that you signed on to take a moment to be reminded um, about the truth and happy to be um, with you. I miss all your faces. I'm thinking of you all. Um, today, I'm especially thinking about those of you who are in the healthcare field, who are out there on the front lines, um, really helping those that are ill and putting yourself in danger um, for the lives of others. I just want you to know that I'm praying for you today. Uh, I'm also thinking of the families that are homeschooling or attempting to homeschool, you know, without a lot of warning and prep, I'm with you and hence the reason I'm outside for a bit. <laughs> I love my children, but um, it's not easy, right? So I'm thinking of, of those specific groups this morning um, and just all of you, so happy to be here with you today. I'm outside just because it's absolutely beautiful as well. So hopefully the sounds of birds and um, just nature will bring you peace as well. Um, I wanted to share a little story that I had with God, a moment with God rather, a few weeks ago before Corona crazy. Um, happened. I every morning put my daughter on the bus and I'm typically waiting in my car for her bus to arrive and I usually utilize those few minutes to just um, take in some word from God or read something uh, while we wait. So at that time I was studying in Galatians and I was reading in Galatians 1 and Galatians 1 6 really stood out to me that morning and it says, I am astonished that you are so quickly deserting the one who called you to live in the grace of Christ and turning to a different gospel. And this is a letter from Paul to the town of Galatia. Um, and he has sent this letter because he has heard that they have turned, um, that some of them have turned from the gospel and living um, in the spirit to the law and kind of going back to their old ways of trying to win God's favor by doing good and they're also listening to false prophets and false teachings and really quickly falling into that. And that's that morning in specific, uh, specifically rather, the Lord really showed me that word quickly. And that stood out to me, how quickly we can know the truth of the gospel. We can live for Christ and our mind and our thoughts can take over so quickly. So he pointed that out to me that morning and then I happened to look up at the clock and realize, oh, her bus isn't here yet. That's interesting. They're usually here by now. Another minute goes by and they're running late. And instantly my mind goes crazy. I start thinking, wait, does she have school? Did I get that wrong? Maybe they don't have school today. And whoa, okay, if she doesn't have school, I'm supposed to go do X, Y, Z. I don't have a sitter. And then if I don't have a sitter, whoop, and all of a sudden my mind took over in a matter of 60 seconds. Right? The bus was like a minute late. Um, and instead of trusting God with his timing and just waiting, you know, well in that moment, my mind took over. And it wasn't a thought that I, tr it wasn't something that I predetermined those thoughts. It just came to my mind, right? It was very quick. Um, and in that moment, you know what he said to me? He said, you foolish Galatian, because um, I had continued reading in that time as well um, from Galatians 3, where Paul says, you foolish Galatians, um, who has bewitched you? And I felt um, like I was just like, you know, you foolish Galatian, like not in a condemning way, almost like we laughed together, you know, um, how quickly you just forgot, like, just trust me, you know, I'm doing something. Um, so I took a breath and don't you know, the bus pulls up and everything's okay. <laughs> the world is white right again, you know? wow, what just happened to my brain? So that happened to me a few weeks ago. And um, then fast forward this week, Pastor Mark um, sent me an email and asked me if I'd be willing uh, or interested to do a devotion. And don't you know, my first thought wasn't, wow, what an opportunity. Or me? Yes, yes, you know, jumping up and down. My first thought, the quickest thing that came to my brain immediately was fear. I can't do that. I'm not good enough for that. I don't know the word well enough for that. I'm not a pastor. Right away, quick thoughts of fear came to me right away. 
And in that moment, God reminded me of my moment with him a few weeks earlier. And he said it again, you foolish Galatian, don't you forget, don't you forget. So I'm so grateful of that reminder that he gave me. And I was quickly able to lean in on him and check my heart. You know, where's that fear coming from? And why God doesn't bring fear. So I knew that wasn't from him. So I was able to cast that out and, and press forward. And with that came excitement. You know, I'm excited. I'm blessed to be able to do this this morning. And I know it's going to be from him. Whatever words he gives me are, are his words. So um, I know he will use it and I'm trusting him with this. But just that reminder, I wanted to share with you because during this time, this Corona crazy season that we're in, it can be really scary. Um, there's a lot of unknown, people on furlough with their jobs, um, children home from school, missing their friends, fears of the illness itself and getting sick. Maybe some of you are actually um, sick yourself. So just the struggle of illness and there's, it can just very quickly dominate our minds and then creep into our spirit. And God is here and he's provided his word as a beautiful reminder of the truth, right? He gave us this whole book, this whole book of words. And over and over and over again, it says, do not fear, right? Come to me, lean on me. So my encouragement to you today is to spend that time every single day in his word right now. Be relentless about it. Be in his word, let it seep into your heart. And when those thoughts come, go right back to the word. Be reminded of God's promises, that he is good, that he is faithful, that he has not left us, and that through Christ, we have the ability to cast out fear. So he's here for me, just like he's here for you. And I think the beauty of this story that I'm sharing is that I had spent that time in the word, right? That discipline, it does take discipline. It's a daily discipline. It's an even moment to moment right now for me at least with four kids at home. It's a moment to moment discipline to be in the word, right? To spend time with him, to be reminded. And because I had done that, he was able to use his words in my heart and remind me. And he'll do the same for you. So I hope you find that encouraging today. We're with you in this time. We'd love to hear from you. If you don't know the truth of the gospel, and you'd like to know more about Jesus during this season, if you're feeling um, like you, you're not sure exactly what we're talking about when we say walking with Jesus or when we say spending quiet time with the Lord, him speaking to our heart, reach out to us. We'd love to have that conversation with you. We'd love to be with you in that uncertainty as well. All right, friends, we love you. We can't wait to see you again and be physically together again. But thank you for listening today. Stay in that word. Stay focused. Stay faithful. Cast out fear. All right. Have a wonderful weekend. Talk to you soon.